Well, new at 10, it is peak allergy season. You probably felt this. This is all as winds pick up and the air gets colder. Some people are really suffering. If you're one of those people, you may be wondering, what can you do to control your allergies? Well, ABC Big 2's Rob Tooch joins us live tonight in Odessa. Rob, you spoke with an allergist about why many people are being affected by allergies this time of year and how to protect yourself. Madeline and Carson, that's right. Allergies can affect your health in a number of ways. It's most common to have sneezing, watery eyes, even a nasal blockage in this cold weather. But this time of year, it's crucial to get your allergies under control before your symptoms spiral out of control. In most of Texas, the winter time is notorious for when we get these spikes of the mountain cedar. Mountain cedar is one of the most potent allergens triggered by the cold weather. It's something that can cause Texans to dread the onset of winter. When there are heavy winds, pollen that's been released can travel quite the distance, for example, to the basin. The forecast for Texas kind of at the moment is not great. Dr. Kirk Weibel is a board certified allergist immunologist. Definitely is seen in the Midland area. Um, there's some nice pollen counts that are kind of showing that, but kind of the majority of mountain cedar is up and down the I-35 corridor. The mountain cedar tree is drought tolerant. It's a popular tree among critters and animals for shelter. When there's so much concern around COVID-19 and the flu, how can you tell that what you actually have is allergies and not something viral? Allergies don't cause fever. Allergies don't really cause muscle aches and pain, and they don't cause yellow green snot that's going to be a cold or a sinus infection. You can keep windows closed and limit time outside, but of course, seeing your doctor or an allergist would help you be properly diagnosed. It could also lead you to the right over the counter medicine. There are also tests. To me, the blood test or an allergy skin test is going to give that person or parent an objective answer to their concerns. Now, Dr. Weibel said there's also something called immunotherapy, where it can, in essence, retrain your immune system so that it no longer adversely reacts to allergens. But he said the first thing to do, of course, is to consult your primary care health provider to see if what's the best route for you to take in controlling your allergies. Live in Odessa, Rob Tuke, ABC Big Two News.